Hello YouTube and welcome to another comparison video between the Apple iPad Mini and the Google Nexus 7. Uh, this time it's all about the displays. The Google comes with a 7 inch display, the iPad Mini with a 7.9 inch display. Apple made a lot of noise about it being 30% bigger with um, you can see more than on a Google Nexus 7. Even on the keynotes they talked about this for minutes and minutes. But what they uh, forgot to mention about this is it's a resolution. The Apple iPad mini comes with a standard iPad resolution. Uh, this is 1024 times 768. This gives you a pixel density of 163 pixel per inch. This is more than on an iPad and on an iPad 2 because of the smaller form factor here. Um, it's about the same as on an iPhone 3G and 3GS but it is way less than on this Google Nexus 7 because the Google Nexus 7 got a resolution of 1280 times 800. This gives it a, a pixel density of 216 ppi, so around 50 ppi uh, more. This was a lot of technical talk here, but what does this mean in your normal real life situations? So let's take a look. First of all, we start browsing. Let's hit over to the Apple homepage. And as I have mentioned before, large scripts, uh, <laughs> large letters, and pictures look fine on both devices but where the non-retina screen of the iPad really fails is little writing here like this text of the iPhone 5 here this ad this is way more clearer and sharper on the Google Nexus um, I hope you can see this. let's zoom in a little bit and definitely sharper on the Google Nexus let's head over to the tech sloth homepage here and um, let's zoom out and see how much we can see of each website here. About the same uh, down and a little bit more, yeah, definitely a little bit more on the Google Nexus 7. Um, and how sharp is the, is the writing here? The headings looks fine on both, but again, writing the small letters look definitely better on the Google Nexus. Let's hit, hit into an article. And, okay, not much of uh, words here to look at. If you zoom in a little bit and get them on about the same size, it gets better. And while we are on it, let's head over to the video function here. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. And uh, as you can see, take a look already, uh, on a specialty here. As you can see, let's turn them around because we got here something nice to see. Uh, you notice this big black borders on top and on the bottom of the iPad mini. That's because of the form factor. We got 3 by 4 here and on here we got we got 16 uh, by 10, not, not 9 here. And this is, you have just a tiny black border around your video here on the Google Nexus. And this black back black borders on the iPad middle. Overall, the video picture is bigger on the iPad Mini, but keep in mind you got big black borders of the form because of the form factor. So we head out and let's try an app. Let's try hit over, get over to Twitter, and. Again, the Twitter app looks nicer on the Google Nexus. The writing is way sharper. Uh, it's not that bad. You can live with this with a non-retina iPad mini display. But in comparison, the Google Nexus gets a point. So we got now <laughs> three points for the Google Nexus and none for the iPad. So you think it's horrible. But wait before you decide because there's one last test that will give you a hard try time to believe. We hit over to the Kindle Amazon app here. 
we are on the same page. We got our same settings, same background, um, same border, same line settings. Everything is the same and you won't see a difference. You get one sentence more on the Google Nexus, but the iPad mini is looks really great in comparison. Let's zoom in a little bit to get you closer to the pixels. So, as you can see, big normal letters look great on the iPad mini. No problems here. I've been reading on both devices for, for hours and pages and I don't mind this non-retina display. It really is looks fine for reading. You only get problems is if the writing is small. Then you have to zoom in. But for your normal surface uh, surfing, reading and all the normal other stuff, even pictures, no problems here. I definitely uh, can live with this iPad mini and its non-retina resolution. And now I've given you the comparison to the Google Nexus 7. I hope I could uh, help you guys a little bit. Also enjoyed you a little bit. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye.